in this video we shall uh, discuss the recall questions of ini set exam which was held in november 2020 the first question is an image based question they shown in x-ray of the front and they ask you this x-ray for frontal sinus what view is this now there was two clue there were two clues in this question one was that it's x-ray for frontal sinus so if you know which is the best view for frontal sinus you know the answer and second of course the x-ray was shown and the fourth choice is what is view cardwell's view pierre's view rese view the correct answer is what is view now you can see that the first one is actually pierre's view pierre's view and what is view are very similar they are occipital mental view occipital mental view mental view now if mouth is open then it becomes pierre's view if mouth is not mentioned if it is not mentioned it could be main, open or close then it's water's view right and this is rese view rese view is lateral oblique view and this is for the ethmoids now this is not exactly the rese view rese view is only this much you know it is only this much supposed to be this much but i have shown you the entire thing so that you know the angle you understand the angle when it's a close up view it becomes very difficult to understand so that's why i have shown you the whole thing and x rays of sinuses are very 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 commonly asked and we stress a lot in our uh, when we teach with lectures in the lecture we stress a lot about this facts that x ray of the sinuses you must be very very thorough there are so many questions from here so you have to know for all exams now the second question is which of the following is the correct sequence for auditory pathway again a not a relatively common question a superior olivary nucleus lateral lamniscus inferior colliculi medial geniculate ganglion b superior olivary nucleus inferior colliculi lateral lamniscus medial geniculate ganglion c inferior colliculi superior olivary nucleus lateral lamniscus medial geniculate ganglion and d inferior colliculi superior olivary nucleus medial geniculate ganglion and lateral lamniscus i'm sure most of you have got it correct a is the correct answer now this is the pathway through which the sound travels from your cochlea to the auditory cortex and this is the image that you must have seen in so many books this is superior olivary nucleus this was given then this is said lateral lamniscus then this is inferior colliculi and this is medial geniculate ganglion so this is what is given in the question right and from there it goes to the auditory cortex and we all know this very common mnemonics given in so many books e coli ma so O stands for olivary nucleus so this is superior olivary nucleus L stands for lateral lamniscus I stands for inferior colliculi and M stands for medial geniculate ganglion A is auditory pathway C is cochlear nucleus and E is eighth nerve so you know this very commonly and another pretty common question from the uh, ent point of view and this especially question because of bera that investigation that we do bera and bera has many peaks bera has 1 to 7 peaks and different part of this auditory pathway is responsible for different peaks of the bera and that's what they ask you but that's a different topic of a different nature but you should know that bera and which peak Or the bera is due to which part of the auditory pathway, right? 